Alright, this is going to be a razor comparison between my Gillette Mach 3 and my, uh, Gillette Fusion 5. Gillette Mach 3 is a 3 blade razor, the Fusion 5 obviously is a 5 blade razor. I've got my Gillette Series 3 times gel, uh, 3 times action. It's because it hydrates, protects, and refreshes. I just like it because even right now I can feel it hydrating my skin, kind of like the thermal filling. So I'm going to shave the uh, right side of my face with the Gillette Mach 3 and the left side of my face with the uh, Gillette Fusion 5. So here we go. I don't want to waste your time. So get right to the point. Did see online we're with the power razors, which neither of these are power razors. It's better to take slow strokes. So I was going to experiment with that. I always shave with the grain and then go against the grain. Right now I'm shaving with the grain on my face. I always rinse my razor in hot water. Not too fond of the slow strokes with the non-power razors so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thing. I really love the Gillette brand of razors, especially versus electric shavers, because they're just quick. And they, they do a better job than uh, electric shavers. All right, that's the top side of my face. Then my hair grows a different direction on my neck. So let's go with the green first. Absolutely pain free right now, not falling to any hairs or anything. It's getting plenty of hairs with the first initial stroke. Alright, I went with the grain, now I'm gonna go against the grain. I've got some really thick hair too, so probably take more strokes than the average bear. Because I'm Terry is the average bear. First stroke's done, I feel a little bit of stubble. So, I'm just gonna make another pass real quick. And that's definitely wiping it all away. Just get a really fine shave with that third pass. Absolutely pain free this entire time. Alright, there you go. It's as good as it gets, especially for a uh, three blade razor. Absolutely pain free the entire time. That's the most important thing to me. Get a really fine shave. So, on to the Fusion 5, I have it right here. I'll go ahead on the other side of my face and we'll keep right on going. Fills with uh, five blades with a slower stroke. It's picking up more hairs. Absolutely pain free. definitely feel a difference with the uh, five blades. Feels like it's got more traction because of all, all the extra blades pulling on the hairs. So, um, same degree of pain. No pain yet. Let's see if I can tell a difference between how much hair it picks up. All right, I went with the gray. Now I'm gonna go against the gray.
a stubble right there. Whenever I feel a stubble and go over it with this five blade razor, is really picking it up real quick. Gonna stop right away, call it good, and do a comparison real quick. Mm -hmm. Overall, I can just it just feels smoother with the five blade sides. So, hate to say it because I love the Gillette Mach 3, but uh, I am a big fan of the five blade razors. So. Have, definitely have to give the edge to the uh, Fusion 5 just barely, but uh, they're both great razors. But the uh, Fusion 5 is just more comfortable. Get more traction with those five blades and still just as pain free as the three blade one. The only advantage the three blade has is more space between the blades, so it's way easier to rinse the hair out. But I mean, there's still enough space with the five blade, you might have to rinse a bit extra. But to me, it's worth the price pay to get the uh, five blade there's really not that much difference in price these days to get a good five blade razor like the fusion five so uh, I would just always go with the fly, five blade razor in my opinion so the fusion five definitely gets the win here okay even if I don't buy a product on amazon.com I still like to go there for reviews <clears throat> and even the price compare with Walmart where I'd probably go pick something up in person but here's the Gillette Fusion 5 Amazon.com one razor and one cartridge $9.99 here's the Gillette Mach 3 uh, one razor one blade refill for $99 you can see it right there so it's only a dollar difference um, I believe my opinion was confirmed with the uh, 4.7 star rating for the Fusion 5. It goes down to 4.5 for the Mach 3, which of course has more ratings, so it would be a lower average since it's been around longer. So what I like to do is go down to the, you can click on the reviews right here, the ratings. I always go to top reviews and go to most recent in case they change the product or something. And then you go to see more reviews so you can, oh, uh, and then you still have to go to positive or oh where's the filter sort by top reviews go to most recent you have to get it to where you can go through the pages so here's the most recent reviews of the most recent version of this model and it's usually a good sign if you start getting five or four stars right away i usually scroll through until i see a uh, bad review and see what the bad review is for gee it's just a ton of five stars so yeah i think uh I did a good job of choosing this razor. This one, the handle was very slippery with shaving cream on it. Um, that's a pretty poor reason. One of the worst Gillette pro products cuts cuts skin more than hair. Probably just bad skin. Poor quality. There's three in a row for some reason. That's kind of weird. Then it goes back to four and five stars. Not quality. Quality has gone downhill. Hmm. Some, uh, quite a few more bad reviews than usual. I think it's just a coincidence because it hits the five stars right away. Uh, and then you go over here, do the same thing. Where are the ratings? Go to ratings, top reviews, go to most recent. And you still have to go down here to more reviews or it'll keep switching back to the top ratings. So top reviews right here, go to most recent. And then you have the pages you can scroll through. <coughs> hit the five stars right away not a man's hand all razor is too small almost as bad as a book um, I don't worry too much about the handle but maybe some people do maybe that's a good criteria to look at when the razors are really close like these two were I didn't notice any difference in the handles but um, you don't need shaving cream anymore where is it quality has declined plastic instead of metal uh, hmm overpriced I don't know why somebody would call the Mach 3 overpriced cheap handle blade refill missing that one doesn't count cheap plastic hard to shave with uh, most of the uh, reviews are pretty good but uh, anyways it's a good good way to get the gist of a product so 
but uh, the Fusion 5 definitely won, won out. And I think if the Gillette Fusion 5 was a dollar more expensive here than, let's see, $9.99. Then uh, the Gillette Mach 3 was $8.99. Uh, this one, one refill for $8.99. $9.99, okay. Dollar more expensive for a tiny bit better performance. No difference there. Go to walmart.com and look at the prices. Gillette Mach 3 razor handle and two blade refills, $9.97. Uh, that was the wrong one. Should be the G Gillette Fusion file on this one. One razor, two cartridges, $12.97. Um, if you go over, you could get the power one for the same exact price. Don't know if the batteries are included, but I would get the power one if you're going to get one of those. Gillette Mach 3, 1297, you get an extra blade refill, which could save you some money because the uh, blade refills, as you can see, can get a little pricey for these products. They actually cost more than the razor handle themselves. But 1997 for over five Mach 3 refills, and well. Where's blade refills? I'm looking for just blade refills for this one. 17.77 for four. It's just kind of weird. Oh, I thought I saw a side by side one in here somewhere. But... Well, 37.99 for 20 for the Mach 3. For that's cheaper than 49.99 for. This looks like the blade refills are going to be a little bit more expensive for the Fusion 5, but there's 39.30 for 12. Yeah, they're a bit pricier for the blade refills for the Fusion 5, but uh, uh, definitely be worth it to me unless you're very poor. Then I'd go with the Fusion 3, I guess, but uh, there you go.